Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodholt. As we wrap up this week of looking at some of the famous prayers of history, prayers that were written down and have somehow spoken not only to God, but also to us and to our own struggles, perhaps you have begun to notice how these prayers may seem a bit different from the prayers we normally pray. So often we tell God what we want God to do for us, almost like it is an attempt to get God to do our will. But many of the prayers we have looked at speak in radically different ways. They seem to have an intense focus on God and on aligning oneself with God and God's will. Maybe put more simply, Prayer isn't so much getting God on our page as it is getting ourselves on God's page. Our first prayer today is once again by St. Augustine. My God, let me know and love you so that I may find my happiness in you. Since I cannot fully achieve this on earth, help me to improve daily until I may do so in the full. Enable me to know you ever more on earth so that I may know you perfectly in heaven. Enable me to love you ever more on earth so that I may love you perfectly in heaven. In that way, my joy may be great on earth and perfect with you in heaven. O oh God of truth, grant me the happiness of heaven so that my joy may be full in accord with your promise. In the meantime, let my mind dwell on that happiness. My tongue speak of it, my heart pine for it, my mouth pronounce it, my soul hunger for it, my flesh thirst for it, and my entire being desire it until I enter through death in the joy of my Lord forever. Amen. There is much I like in that prayer, but I really want to highlight the ending of it as the prayer expresses life in God and our response to God. Augustine said, In the meantime, let my mind dwell on that happiness. My tongue speak of it, my heart pine for it, my mouth pronounce it, my soul hunger for it, my flesh thirst for it, my entire being desire it, until I enter through death in the joy of my Lord forever. All of life is lived in response to God. Wow, what a prayer. Our second prayer today is by St. Teresa of Avila. Most of us probably don't know a whole lot about St. Teresa. She lived in the 1500s and was an important leader as the Roman Catholic Church sought ways to respond to the Protestant Reformation. She reformed the Carmelite Order of Nuns and was an important spiritual leader for the Church. She wrote a prayer known as, Let Me Serve You. Govern everything by your wisdom, O Lord, so that my soul may always be serving you in the way you will and not as I choose. Let me die to myself so that I may serve you. Let me live to you who are life itself. Amen. Once again, we have a prayer that is centered on pointing to God rather than the self. When we baptize, we consider it dying to oneself and rising to new life in Christ. Teresa's prayer speaks of that and of living that new life in Christ in all things. Our last well-known prayer is by St. Ethelwold, and frankly, I had never heard of him before. He lived in England in the 900s and, like Teresa, was involved in reforming different aspects of monastic life. His prayer serves as a benediction for our week together. May God the Father bless us. May Christ 
take care of us. The Holy Ghost enlighten us all the days of our life. The Lord be our defender and keeper of body and soul, both now and forever, to the ages of ages. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.